as a CEO. So I'm all right. Are you on? Chador says hi, Interpes says hi, Max says hi, Panzai says hi, Un says good afternoon, Jay says New Zealand, hi. Very fast, very fast. Very fast. Richard says hi. Man, you guys are all here in Jamois. Cleveland, Sunset, how are you? Zombie. We are in Florida. Yves, we are in Florida, yep. Samuel, we Samuel's from Houston, Texas. Yes, Canada. We got one from Canada. Italy, wow. Maine, Brazil, California, Turkey, Australia, Washington, Marietta, Hong Kong. Okay, Zina's from Hong Kong. Alex says good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. To me too. Yeah, to a cameraman. I see. I see you guys. Harold sees you. Soka says he's a sushi chef as well. Indiana, all right, Indiana. France, Netherlands, Georgia, Guam, New York City, California. From Trinidad. Quebec, Marseille, France, Colorado. Kevin says, hero, you're my hero from... Tom. Tom is there? Hey, Tom. Thomas is one of our biggest fans and a friend, not just a fan, we want to say. Thank you for the super chat. This is from Banza Yama Review. From LA, California. Domo Sansai. Thank you so much, Banzai. Appreciate the, the super chat. That's really a great way to support Hero's channel. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Pineapple and pizza. Someone says I'm too bossy. Actually, See, Crowder says I'm too bossy. I'm not, uh, I'm not too bossy. I just try to, because Hero's always concentrating on the food. If I don't talk, if I don't give some direction, we all get lost. So it's not that I'm being bossy, just so you all know. Um, someone wants you to do pizza sushi. Pizza sushi. Choo-choo. Choo-choo. Cameron face reveal from Ricky. Um, hmm. Someone wants to see camera. You know, I'm not even, I'm just a camera guy, dude. <laughs> I'm just trying to film Hero doing what he's doing best. So, um, anyway, welcome to Richard. Richard Morales. Thank you very much. Hi, Domo. So, okay, a couple questions. Someone says, Why don't I ever reveal my face? Because it was never about me. The channel was always about Hero at the restaurant at Novi when basically, I, you know, not some of you know the story. I started the channel to to promote Novi Kitchen and Bar. And that was just to show that we actually had a real sushi chef, you know, because we didn't have the sushi bar outside where people sit. And so that's why we started it. And that's how it always is, just filming Hero making sushi. So now kind of like when people see me, they're surprised. When people hear my voice, they're kind of surprised. Mm -hmm. uh, but it all comes back to Hero because he's really the superstar here. And uh, thank you so much, guys, for being here. So many requests for pepperoni, pepperoni pizza sushi, hero. Pepperoni sushi. Yeah, yeah. Sushi. A lot of people have says. Uh, someone also asked earlier, what is the best sushi in South Florida, hero? The best sushi in South Florida. What do you say? If I'm going to eat, right? If you're going to eat sushi here in South Florida, anywhere in Miami or Broward County. Uh, I do go to uh, Matsuri Sushi. Matsuri. Matsuri is actually... We've been going, I've been going there for years. I mean, before we even opened up Novi, we used to go there. That's in Coral Gables on Red Road and Bird Road. So, um, here, well, Calvin wrote something in Japanese. Can you see what he wrote? Cal Calvin, yeah, he wrote something in Japanese. Martin, Martin started making sushi because of the videos. Thank you so much, Martin. Um, it's in Japanese, Calvin C. At 6.04 p.m., he wrote something in Japanese. I cannot read that. Calvin C. 
トムトムドルドルトムーンと日本から from Japan。Yes from Japan。Oh okay。ドルトムーンと。Nice nice。Hiro, have you made sushi crunchy pig before? What? Sushi crunchy pig. Have you made that before? Sushi crunchy pig. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's.、Uh... Sushi crunchy pig? Yeah, sushi crunchy pig. Have you made that before? No. No, right? No. We're going to do something with,、uh, with maybe pork belly or something.、Uh -huh. Legit said a super chat. Legit, thank you so much.、Oh, If you guys have a question, you know, because the questions are, the, the comments are coming up so quick. Um, you know, obviously, Super Chat's one way to, to send Hero a message or something, but thank you so much, Legit. We really appreciate that. Hero, someone wants to know how many knives do you have? How many knives?、Uh, six or seven for now. Okay, well, since we have a lot of people here, let's go. Well, let's do a quick walk around in the studio.、Okay. So we're located in Miami, Florida. This is facing west. Beautiful sunset tonight. Yeah, Novi is closed. It's just the channel. That's what basically we're doing now. That's what Hero's doing on helping him film. This is looking up north. And I'm going to point out right over there. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit.、Um, right here, if you guys can see right, that's where Hard Rock Stadium is. And that is where the Dolphins play. And this is what the studio looks like. You guys can see it. And、the working areas.、And、this is a quick wardrobe change for Hero. And、uh, <laughs> some of you ask, casting couch? That's where the couch is at. No, really, seriously, no. I don't, I don't film anything except for Hero Sun. That's it. Oh, I know. You have, a, you have another job. <laughs> no, I don't have another job. <laughs> you have a second job for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here. Wow, thank you. Ethan, send another super wow, chat. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much. His question is well, actually, just to say thank you for the great content over these years. Always cool to see the different dishes you come up with. Thank you so much, Ethan. If you guys have other things you guys want to like, give us ideas, send it over. Maybe through、um, easiest way, I would say maybe by email or because Hero gets email right away.、Mm. Um, again, thank you. Mikaela Varela, thank you so much. Another super chat. Thank you so much, Mikaela.、Um, Roof, actually, you learned a lot also. Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate it so much.、Um, another super chat from k i o m e n d e z Hey, Hiro, are you going to do. With a taco.、Uh, are you going to do more videos with Outdoor Chef Life? Yes, well, we hope so. Yeah. He,、uh, we love taco. He's a super nice guy. Him and. His girlfriend, they just got a van. I don't know if you guys have been following it, so they're going to be、yeah. traveling a lot in that van.、Mm -hmm. That's going to be pretty cool. Hopefully, they will come to Miami too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, another question. Super chat. Thank you so much from Joel.、Mm -hmm. Hello, guys. Can you ask which chef Hero got him into cooking as a young lad? So, how'd you get into cooking, Hero?、Mm -hmm. how, how When you were younger, yes. Oh, oh, oh.、Uh, first thing, actually, not really cooking, but it was very interesting to do. Start e d with the,、uh, cutting the fillet of the fish. So,、uh, when I was little,、uh, me and my father go to the fishing almost every weekend, right? And my father is actually not a professional chef, but he's also good, to do, good for the cooking,、uh, especially for the fish. So, I just learned from him, you know. So, then after I cut in the fillet and making sashimi or something, and a grilled fish or something, and then my kitchen food, <laughs> first one was a curry <laughs> with、uh, my mother, you know. <laughs> Yeah, and the fried rice. Right. And、uh, also the egg omelets. Okay. Yeah, those three is a very, very fast、uh, moment. Right, right, right. So, cooking in the kitchen. Speak louder, they say, speak yeah, louder. Yeah, so in the kitchen, you know? Yeah.、Mm. Then、uh, when I was、uh, 20, actually, I went to the culinary school.、Mm. Yeah. So then I started more professional work. Right. And I know one goal you wanted to come to the United States. 91. In 91, you wanted to come to the United States, and one way to come over that time, it wasn't as crazy it was as it is today.、Mm -hmm. And one way to actually have a profession.、Mm -hmm. So yeah, you found a, a place to sponsor your, yeah, your I citizenship. Came, yeah, I came into with my profession. Yeah. Right, right.、Mm -hmm. Okay, let's show everyone what you have here, because、yeah. as you guys are asking questions, I'm going to have the review,、uh, and I'm going to、yeah, go back and read some of these questions for it's, Hero. It's, it's not in serious cooking. Okay. okay. Not in serious cooking. Actually, from today, actually, from 6 to 8 p.m., right? <laughs> I'm kind of hungry. So, yeah, yeah.、Uh, we're going to make 
make something for our dinner. Okay. So I have here a salmon. Yeah, okay, we have, have salmon, salmon here, okay. Uh, from Buck Forest. Right. Uh, you can see here. Right, right. right. I have a New York strip. Okay. And this is a pork chop. Pork chop, okay. Yeah. And I have onions, herbs, lemons, onion red and white, and I have some scallions here. And I have a several seasoning right here. Okay. Yeah, so. All right, so we have people asking to speak up. I'm too oh, loud. Also, yeah, yeah, I'm too loud and you're too quiet, yeah. Okay, so. Wait, hold on, we got another mm -hmm. super chat. Thank you so much, Faiz. Will you make some Indian dish? Oh, I like curry. Yeah, it's curry. Yeah, I just ran in from my friend. Actually, he's from Indonesia, but uh, he is very good for making curry. Okay. So I'm running right now. Right. I have some spices that are actually right there. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we are gonna start to making yeah, we'll make some more Indian uh, food and even German food too, you know? Schnitzel. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. It's almost like katsu. But katsu is or tempura. very close to that. Yeah. yeah. Another super chat. Thank you so much okay, from Jake Valdez. Hey, here are me and my wife, Sarah, always watch your content. Thank you so thank much you. for the thank content you. during this difficult time. And no, we appreciate you guys for being here. I know I'm just a camera guy and I try and help us, mm. help out as much as I can, but because it's, you know, during this time, the last year has been so difficult mm. for, for everyone. Mm. I think these, you know, we watch a lot of videos on YouTube ourselves to learn how to do things mm. that we normally don't have time to do. Mm. So this has been actually great. Okay. Um, let me go back and see. Actually, um, I'm, f I'm using an iPhone, an iPhone 10 to do the, the filming. So that's why the mic is actually at the end, uh, maybe oh. this way. So... But anyway, I'm going to uh, repeat the questions. If you guys have any questions, please uh, send them down below. We appreciate it so much. And thank you for the super chats. Hiro-san. Okay. <laughs> Anyway. Reading in Japanese. Yeah. Let me uh, let me go through a couple of questions here sure, because yeah. you guys have been asking. Okay, can we cook sushi rice in a microwave? Can you do that, Hiro? Sushi rice cook in a microwave. Yeah, have you done that before? No, you mean uh, just warming up or? No, cooking from scratch. No, have you tried that? No, 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 no. Yeah. Someone's asking also, Ricky. Hey, do you have plans on visiting Jacksonville, Florida? We passed through there on the way coming back from Tennessee. Mm -hmm. You guys probably saw. Uh, Steve is asking, how come we don't use the stove behind? So, uh, number one, it's electric. I uh, know the stove, actually, the stove oh, down. Yeah, yeah, this one I don't use much. Yeah, no. because number one, it's... Yeah, so it's this part to film too. Yeah, it's yeah, hard to film. Way, right? So you can film just on the side. So. Yeah, you don't see us. Obviously, this stainless steel countertop was specifically built for this kitchen. So that way, when uh, Hero's cooking, you can actually get a better view. And that's how that works. Um, and also it's gas, you can control the temperature much better. If you cook at home, you probably know that. Uh, electric, you can't tell. Some of this is really too uh, accelerated too fast and then you can't control, you can't bring the temperature down quick enough. Um, how long have we known each other? Since 2009. 2009. Yeah, I had actually mm -hmm. started a new business just down the street and here was walking, working across the street. Uh, and this place does not have any gas, just electric. So that was another question. Jesco, super chat. Thank you so much. Has a uh, Jesco's asking, have has a pandemic affected your cooking life food? Not really. Not so much, right? Not so much. Uh, Heroes Channel here, obviously, we try to upload two videos a week and keep it interesting. Sometimes, you know, we do silly things. I mean... It can always be so serious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it was also serious, I mean, you, you know, you wouldn't have any fun. So I had to take credit for some of the, the crazy stuff that happens in the kitchen, you know, specifically the live cooking, the animals. Um, you guys, there's a lot of hate for the iguanas. But honestly, if you guys are from South Florida, you know the iguanas are very evasive. They burrow behind seawalls. They create a lot of damage and so much damage. Mm -hmm. um, the guy that took us out iguana hunting, this is almost a year ago. Yeah, he went to P. Diddy's house, They and he removed so many from his property. That's what he, uh, that's what he was saying. 
Okay, Bo says, can you make some carne asada? Maybe, hopefully soon. That's a, a Cuban dish. Carne asada? A Latin, carne asada. Yeah, that's with beef. Carne, carne asada. Carne asada. Carne, carne asada. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Arisa, asked a, you guys have been asking a lot of questions about the GTR. We have some, some really interesting news coming soon. You guys will have to stay tuned. But um, it's not a secret. Nissan is really intrigued with Heroes Cooking. Mm -hmm. So they brought him up to Tennessee in November and invited him to, you know, to take a brand new. That white one is a 2021 Nissan GTR, the, the Platinum Edition. Uh, no, excuse me, the Premium Edition. Yeah. And a beautiful car. Amazing. It was a lot of fun to drive. We actually have some other content to release soon. Um, some of it has to do with the Tell the Dragon. That's located on the border of Tennessee and North Carolina. It's like... 218 turns in 11 miles something yeah something like that 318 318 right yeah maybe 300 okay so you're right 318 so it was really uh he's going to show us something okay tell the dragon that's where all the if you're into motorsports or motorcycles or cars that's where everyone goes to go driving on the track oh he bought some shirts look at this deals gap that's what it's called yeah, 318, okay, this is a 318 curves. So he was right, 318 curves. This is where, and this is where it starts. If you guys can see this, it's amazing. It's, um, you start here, actually, <laughs> he, was, uh, he was just about to enter the Tell the Dragon and we got pulled over by police because he was going too fast. Yeah. And uh, you'll see the video on that coming soon too. We had to kind of sweet talk our way out of it and he didn't get a ticket, thank God. All right. Alexander is saying, these guys spend so much time together. Surprise, Hero doesn't have his wife to tell him to go home. <laughs> Hero's not married yet. He's still single and available. I, on the other hand, I am married. And yeah, my wife, if I'm doing, if I'm not home, she'll question where am I, like what's going on. So these are some of the trinkets that he picked up. Uh, this is a, a dragon, kind of, Yeah. Okay, Hero Sign, let's, uh, let's get cooking because I know some people want to see it. This is another view from the studio. Beautiful sunset there facing west. And uh, I'm going to show you. Well, by the way, some of you have heard about Pop Shop Live. We're going to continue that soon where Hero's going to be cooking with you guys. You guys can buy stuff according to what we're going to be doing that week. And that's going to be coming again probably in a couple of weeks. We're putting some sushi kits together. This is a quick view of Hero's liquor. You guys are big drinkers. Uh, this was picked up through the years. We started going to Cuba back in 2015. And uh, through a friend, we did a couple events here, but Havana Club, this is where it's at. This bottle is very, very expensive. There's only, how many bottles in here in this collection? Very, very few, but uh, numbered bottles. And of course he has a regular stuff you can find anywhere else. But tonight it's all about cooking. We're gonna show you something how to cook. So we're gonna to get to questions while while here is cooking. I'm gonna go back and go to some of the questions. Another super chat. We have a super chat from uh, Dinkum Aussie. Thank you so much, uh, Hero. He says thank you for your fantastic channel, Hero. Your knife skills are excellent. Well, thank you so much for being here. We can't thank you know without you guys. And I know Hero's expressed that his gratitude. We would not be here doing this for you guys and. We want to show you how easy it is, too. So this is a back and frost salmon. Mm -hmm. As you know, Hero is a brand ambassador for back and frost. We were using back and frost back at Novi in, what, seven years ago, seven years plus. But um, definitely the highest grade farm salmon around. People say, can you eat this raw? As long as your salmon farm feeds the salmon, um, basically parasite feed free, then you're good. You can just eat it raw. And... If you guys saw one of our videos from Back of Frost, actually, we're going to be going there maybe sometime in the spring. They want us to, to take us over there and show us how the process is done. We can't wait. Uh, but that's the Back of Frost salmon. Here we have a New York strip steak hero. And some pork. Bone and pork. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, got another super chat from Mad Jack, 8415. Thank you so much from Northern California. He says, uh, or uh, Mad Jack, I don't know, he or she says, I love all the knowledge you've shared and continue to. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Um, you know, Hero's probably the most um, biggest chef out there. If you want to type on anything on how to make sushi, he started doing this many years ago before this channel even existed. And he showed his nice skills. But now because people are always asking for, not, for questions on how to do things. Mm -hmm. And it's not as difficult. You just got to do it properly. And the difference between doing it at home and doing it in a professional setting is how well you can present the product to the customer, how consistent you are, and making the food taste good. Another super chat from Mel. Thank you so much, Mel. Mel says, thank you for the lessons. Very difficult this year. We agree so much. I fulfilled many of my goals from learning from you, and I thank you for your inspiration. Thank you so much, Mel. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Okay, let's get cooking. Sure. Right here, what are you doing first? Uh, I think first, first I'm going to make uh, salmon namban, namban zuke. It's a uh, kind of vinegar mix. Okay. Mind, uh, salmon. Okay, yes. let's okay. do it. Let's start it. So you guys watch Hero put it together. I'm going to go through some of the questions. I'm going to ask you questions that yeah, people may have. Yeah, okay, Hero? I don't know, David, question of course. Yeah. And I apologize. I'm going to try and scroll up as much as I can and then get back to you guys. Um, let me see how far I can go back. You guys, there's so many, so many um, questions here. Thank you so much again for the comments. Hero, uh, hello, Hero and Cameraman. Where do you get the basic ingredients from? Well, you know, we there's so many because we've been in the restaurant business for long, so long. We have a lot of connections down here, primarily um, wholesalers. You know that normally people can't get to, but that's where we get a lot of stuff. You can find great quality products at Whole Foods. We go there a lot. Um, Publix, we've been there. Even Walmart. You saw some of the stuff we get from Walmart. So you guys can see that too. Um, I'm gonna scroll by. And if I don't read your question, please um, please send it again. Hero, how long have you been a chef? This is from Jake uh, BC. More than 30 years. Only in the United States already 30 years already. 30 years in the United States Actually, alone. This year, 2021, this is 30s. Okay. And also the YouTube, well, the 10 years. Right. Yes. So he's been just in the United States alone because he came over in 1991. Right. So 30. To DC. That's where he started and then eventually made it down to Orlando and then to Florida. Miami. Sorry. Novi's not open anymore. Novi closed four years ago. Um, SpeedX wants me to do a face reveal. If you guys can get down here. I know Hero's gonna be doing uh, possibly another giveaway. We tried to do a trip giveaway, we did it, but the person who won didn't respond, so we moved along from there. We're gonna do that again. A restaurant doesn't exist anymore just because, um, long story. If you had uh, another hour, I'd share that, all the information with you, but um, yeah, the Hero's just doing YouTube now, just cooking. Eveless is from Spain. Hello, hello. We would love to invite a veteran. We thank you all for your service, whether you're serving now, you served in the past, or um, you know you have family. You know we, you know I'm like everyone else. I'm just a, I'm a patriot, and that's not in a bad way. It's a lot of people think saying that you're a patriot, you support the country, is a bad thing. I mean, <laughs> if that is, count me in because I love this country. I was born here. Hero became a citizen, what, five years ago? He was on the fence for a long time, but, you know, we love this country, so, uh, you know. And wherever you're from, I know you love your country too. Well, I'm not saying this is the best country. Obviously, it's so many politics going on these days, and we won't get into politics, but we just love this country, period. Okay, One Love says hello from Colombia. Colombia. Yes. Which, which, which uh, part of Colombia? What part of Colombia are you from? One Love. And fan, uh, meet and greet. Aaron says, will you ever do a fan? Oh, absolutely. Uh, when we travel to different places like California, we always let people, we try and get kind of advance notice, let people know that where we're going to be at. Actually, I, I like to travel to Italy and Europe. Yes. So soon after this coronavirus thing is going, I mean, uh, uh, I want to make it a trip to Europe. A trip to Europe, okay. Portugal to all the way to Germany. Okay. 
Actually, I'd like to know how many people actually live in the city, the country, the country. Right, right. So Italy for sure, uh, and uh, you know, Germany. Germany. For sure, right? But I, I don't know any France or... Uh, yeah. For, um, I don't know how many fans there. Right, right. So uh, I'm gonna... I want to ask you to you guys send me the email, which country and which city it is. And actually, I want to stop by in the city to see yeah. the city. Let me just, okay, here, what you do here? Because oh, what is that, flour or cornstarch? Uh, salt and pepper and a cornstarch. Okay, so this is a beautiful back of raw salmon again with a little salt and pepper and cornstarch. I'm going to tell you guys um, basically our our travel plans right now. We're going to be probably sometime in the early spring. We're going to be traveling over to the Faroe Islands. That looks like around May or June. So if we have any one over there, but we're going to probably tie that in with another country. I'm not sure which one. We'll have to see at that time. Uh, there are plans to go back to Japan, go back to Japan and uh, do some more things there. There have been some companies that reached out to Hiro from Japan. They want him to do some things with their product. So Hiro's is basically cornstarch, and fry, and then this oil. Any knife recommendations that don't bring the bank? Hiro uses Minono Kuni. He's been using that for quite a few years now. He uses the one with carbon steel, which is the highest grade. That's because he needs it to um, uh, have a really sharp, sharp edge. But we know that there's also other brands that they carry, uh, other, excuse me, other levels of Minono Kuni that aren't expensive, under maybe $80 or, or more. You guys can check out the Knife Merchant. They're also a sponsor of the channel, have been for many, many years. Um, here, what is your favorite sushi? My favorite sushi? It's always a nigiri sushi, uh, tuna. Tuna, so there you go. Very simple. Hiro likes the sushi, he likes a, uh, the, the simple stuff, not too, not too, too yeah, not too complicated. You know, you see on Instagram, I mean, all the people that get so many likes, they turn a nigiri into a piece of art. Nothing wrong with that at all. But um, people just looking for ways to make it look outstanding, which it does look outstanding. But sometimes you just want to get back to the basics, just yeah. regular nigiri. I do make a lot of kind of like complicated. Yeah. Crazy to go on the YouTube and even at a restaurant. Right. But uh, to myself, to eat, I like a nigiri sushi. Okay. Very simple. Chances asking questions, have we found any parasites in tuna? No. If you guys saw the, uh, the tuna videos, we kind of explained as much as possible. There are a few kinds of tuna that will never have parasites. Number one, bluefin, bluefin tuna, yellowfin, and also big-eyed tuna. Those tuna will never, ever have parasites in it because the body temperatures where they exist, it's too cold for them to actually stay in there. So they, they'll never have that, just to let you know. Um, the, F, the FDA, if you look on their, on their um, the website, when we've linked it on some of our salmon videos, there's no parasites in farm-raised salmon. Again, as long as the farm-raised salmon is fed parasite-free feed. Those are the only kind of fish that the health department here in Florida will let you cut up and serve immediately raw. If it's not one of those fish, you have to freeze it and go through the process. So that's very important for you guys to know. Uh, people from France, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we got to do, yeah, some people asking for, for Costco, a fish haul. Yeah, we're going to be doing Costco soon. Costco video? Yeah. No. Sushi for kids. I think kids, what do you recommend here? Sushi for kids. What do you think kids would like to eat? Uh, starting with the cucumber rolls, California rolls. You think kids like that? More easy one. You think kids like that, eat that stuff? Oh, maybe shrimp tempura. If it doesn't, yeah, something know, fried, right? Roll. How about shrimp? Or how about chicken? Chicken katsu, something fried, you know? Sure. Yeah, you guys may have to make that at home. We'll probably end up doing something like that to show you how easy it is. Tamago is your favorite. Yeah, Tamago's good. Tamago's good. You know, kids at a young age, I mean, I don't know how old y'all were when you started eating sushi, but there's been a huge popularity boom with sushi. So these are basically fried in the oil, the some cornstarch, all the way, right? All the way. Yeah. Okay. The best way to do Wahoo, I don't know if you guys saw, but we went fishing with some friends of ours down in Key Largo. We, Hero caught a Wahoo. He actually, he, uh, he caught a, the hook, 
hooked the tail, and that was even more difficult to bring in. But sashimi is great. Wahoo is a great eating fish. Mm. Hero, there was a question earlier. What is your favorite American food? American food? Yes. Uh, I do steak. Steak? I like the steak and chicken wings and the hamburger. 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 Cheeseburger, I know you're a big yeah, fan. And hot dog, I, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, pretty much everything. Right. Yeah. Amy's saying a face reveal. Laden's right. Laden wants a face reveal. Laden. Oh. <laughs> Laden's actually Laden's actually my son. He wants a face reveal. I haven't seen him in a while after the pandemic, but okay. he's gonna have to wait. I'm gonna make the sauce. Yeah, yeah. Uh, while you're doing the sauce hero, we have another super chat from Kilan Brooks. Thank you so much, oh, Kilan. Uh, the question is question for hero. Have you ever seen the film Akira? Akira, no. Uh, Akira. No, actually, I also see on the magazine. Okay. But a movie, I never watched the whole thing. Oh, you haven't seen it before yeah, the whole just thing? Just watching the time to time. To okay. Time. I never watched the whole thing. But I know, I know that. Uh, you know the movie? Time. What's it about? Can you? I don't even know what it's about. Uh, I don't know either. I don't know how that's going about. Okay. Yeah. But I see that. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to look into that. Okay, soy sauce. Okay, so this, this is, is soy sauce. Uh, one cup. One cup of soy sauce. Yeah. What kind of music Hero likes? He likes 80s rock, right Hero? You're, you, you like that uh, music? Uh, More like ballads, you know, like uh, ballads, I guess, or any kind of 80s. It's a mixed cup. So this is uh, rice, vinegar. rice vinegar, one cup also? Uh, like uh, 80%. So 80% of this and 100% and of the Soy sauce. soy sauce, yeah. Yeah. Um, When's the first time you ate sushi, Hiro? Uh, That's a question we have. Uh, I don't know when. How, How old were you? Do you remember? Uh, maybe, maybe eight. Eight years uh, old? Eight years old, or maybe something. Like okay. Like that. uh, that's why my parents brought me to sushi restaurant. Okay. And I remember all the time eating tuna, 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 tuna. Okay, okay. So, yeah, that's why you love tuna too. I love tuna. Yeah. Uh, this is a uh, one tablespoon yuzu. One tablespoon yuzu, okay. Pastor Chef is online. Thank you so much, Pastor Chef, for being here. A uh, big Patreon supporter. Thank you so much oh, yes. for being here. And I hope that you're doing okay. I know you had a funeral to go to earlier. Oh. And um, sugar. Okay. Three tablespoons. Three tablespoons. Okay, so one of yuzu, three of tablespoon of sugar. And then water. This is a uh, one uh, one third. Okay. One third. Water. Oh, it's one, right? One of this? Yeah. One. Okay, so one. Okay, so the same. Question, Google Foods, yeah, we would love to uh, see Google. We keep in touch all the time with Google Foods. Uh, that guy is phenomenal. Not only as a person, but obviously you've seen his work. He is a true, uh, he, he works harder than anyone else I know, uh, honestly. Just a little bit to uh, sesame oil. Okay, sesame oil, okay. Philip from Fort Wayne, Indiana. All right. Okay. This one, I'm now. Question for me: What is my favorite dish? Here, you guys are going to see a video that's going to. If you guys are on Patreon, you know, can we have some of our supporters on here? Thank you so much for those who support the channel on Patreon. Uh, you see the unedited videos, everything. Obviously, we might film for thirty minutes, and we'll edit down to maybe half that amount of time. But a lot of things in that hero talks about or shares. Maybe not, it's gonna be on the regular videos, but the one that's gonna be live tomorrow is actually Hero got some tuna from River Seafood. And their regular tuna is phenomenal. We, you know, we are so happy to be working with them because for so long, so many of you have actually written text, emails and all that, where you can get sushi quality fish to make sushi at home. And for a long time, it's been very, very hard to. Uh, we used to, um, we. I think Catalina has it as well, um, but by far, because Riviera Seafood, their main business is they have tuna farms. 
down in Baja, California, in Mexico. And it is by far the, the best quality tuna. But you guys will see the video tomorrow. It's probably my favorite sushi that Heroes made. Just very, very simple. It was all Toro. It was regular Akami tuna, and it was just amazing. People saying good afternoon, Hero. Good afternoon in the evening. Good afternoon in the evening. Let me go back and read some of these questions. Again, I'm going to try and get these questions. Thanks so much for all you being here. We met, uh, we met 11 years ago, 2009. Um, I had a business that was Japanese fast food and here was actually working at the restaurant across the street and he came over on my first day and he called me bluff because I had something called Kobe beef and I didn't have it. I just put it on the menu, you know, to see if, uh, if it would sell. And then, of course, he's the first one to order it and I didn't have it. So that's kind of how our friendship started. Uh, what's the name? Yeah. How do you feel about coconut? Instead of soy sauce, coconut aminos instead of soy sauce. Coconut, coconut yeah. Coconut? Yeah, yeah. You mean the coconut, coconut water? And yeah, and, and the, um, aminos. I don't know. Uh, we haven't tried that. I'm going to I'm gonna ask Hero to... We're going to try that. Okay, see here, Hero? Sure. Something with that instead. <clears throat> Thank you, Thomas. Thank you all from Germany. Thomas is one of our biggest fans. And I just saw someone else from Germany. saw the German flag as well. Thank you guys for being here. From Holland, thank you so much for being here. Melbourne, Australia, thank you so much, Mark. Uh, Hero is Japanese. There's a question, are you are you Japanese? Yes, Hero is definitely Japanese. If you don't know, he's... No, I'm hybrid. You're hybrid. Uh, hello from Arizona, hey, how are you? JT. Um, you guys, there was a question about how to get in touch with us. The best way is probably send an email because uh, we, Hero gets it right away, he can read it. So please send us an email. Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef at gmail.com. Okay, so. Yeah, Watanami. People say, take Watanami back to you, to Japan. Oh, Watanami is He's working today. He's working now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so maybe next trip to Japan, maybe I go with him. Right, right. Yeah. Namal, I'm not Japanese. Namal's asking, am I Japanese? No. So these were just salt, pepper, cornstarch, fried in this oil right here. And then now that you have onions in here, the best thing when you cut the onions, you know, you see here, he rinsed them. That way it's not so strong. And you have the taste of the onion without it being so, so strong. You know, onions can make you cry and all that. Once you wash it and take all the water out, it's great, great to use. Utah in the house. Okay, Tim, welcome. Welcome to all of you. Bahamas. Wow. We have people from, I saw also from Egypt. Egypt. Hudson, North Carolina. Thank you so much for being here. Also Mexico. <laughs> Nebraska wrote, I ate Walmart tuna and survived. We did too, in case you didn't see that video, but I'm sure you did because you made that. Zurich, England. Myra says, you remind her of her boyfriend. Myra says a hero. Hi. <laughs> Good afternoon. What do you say to that? I hope, I hope he can cook like Hero can. That way, he's a keeper. Now we wish you much love and happiness. Norway, thank you so much for being here. This is Rob Sardon. Okay, then this one I'm gonna keep in the cooler. Okay. Let's open up your fridge here. I'll show everyone what you have going on here because. A lot of people saying in the studio, what do you guys do in the studio? What do you have? All these different kinds of sauces here. And then this is our bread. He's going to make some katsu next week with that bread that we got. Freezer side. Uh, as you know, some of you, we were in um, North Carolina in, in November. We have some great videos coming. Had a private tour that Jack Daniels... Um, uh, distillery gave us a really really nice private tour and we can't wait to share some of the products that we have coming soon that he's going to be making some dishes with let me give you a quick tour of this some of you guys join late kind of a view of the studio I know you guys don't really normally get to see this 
This is facing west, obviously. Sun's setting down in beautiful Miami. Welcome to all the spring breakers that are probably here. This is up north. I'm gonna point right up here. If you can see where those lights are at, that's where the Hot Rock Stadium is. That's where the Dolphins play. And this is kind of a view of the studio. So a lot of you who are here locally, you know where we're at. Um, some people are asking if we can invite some people back up to eat. I think when things start getting better, we can invite people back in the studio. Sure. Yeah. But um, I am being tested constantly. I know Heroes doesn't have COVID. And you guys saw from Instagram. If you're not following Instagram, go there and follow. We make a lot of announcements over there. We have a special dinner coming up with the one of our friends from Novi. He's a champion. Bare knuckle fighting. And he was in the studio just the other day doing a special dinner for him coming soon. Okay, hero son, that is what you did for that dish. What's next? Next one's uh, beef tataki. Okay. Beef tataki, okay. Um, B-Boy is asking the order of knife from Knife Merchant. Mm -hmm. I know they just moved to Tennessee. Yes. And um, I'll, I'll ask David, next day shipping, you should have gone in. And, you know, obviously he's not going to go through Texas because of what's going on. But if you have a problem, B-Boy, send us, if you have a problem, um, send, us a, a, send, me a, send us an email and we'll take care of that. We'll find out what's going on, okay? So definitely you should not pay for something that you're not getting the service for. But I know they just moved from California to Tennessee. And there's pretty much set up. Todd is asking, are you guys boyfriends and lovers? <laughs> Never talk of a woman, weird. Well, Todd, if you follow me on my Instagram, you know that I'm married and I have three kids, older and younger. So, um, yeah, a lot of people say that we never talk about women. I mean, this is not about... <laughs> <laughs> if you had a, you had a, a beer with us, yeah, we could talk about women on Ilana if you want, but... This is Heroes Cooking Channel. Reality show. Heroes Reality Show. So we are not, oh, I have to rephrase that. Hero was asked last June, just to let you guys in on this little secret. Last June? Yeah, last June, we were actually looking at some properties to work with a, a pretty large company, and that's still in the works. So if anything happens soon, maybe sooner than later, we're going to tell you all about it. Stay tuned for that. There is a possibility that Hero is going to be working with this, again, this large company. And you guys will pretty much be able to have his food. And if it goes as planned, it'll be anywhere in the United States. Stay tuned for that. Adrian's asking, have you ever been cut by one of your knives? Have you ever been cut by your knives? Cut by. Have you ever had your fingers cut? Oh, many times. Many times, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. At least I'm telling you about. Okay, okay. Used to. Uh, a lot of time. Okay, I'm gonna put it. Okay. Now the super chat. Thank you so much, William. Super chat. Uh, does Hero use maple syrup in his recipes sometimes? We have not. I don't remember using a maple syrup. Maple syrup. Maple syrup. Yeah, I have, I have. Oh, you have in your recipes? No, I, I, no, I don't have it. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I never use it, though. Yeah, he hasn't used it, but hopefully soon. Malik is from Egypt. Thank you so much. Another super chat from Norman. Thank you so much, Norman, for your super chat. Norman, okay, here's the question for you, Hero. Are you ready? Yeah. He's asking, has Hiroyuki ever tried to impress a woman through his cooking skills? He's from London. Nobody? Nobody? Are you sure? Come on, Hero. It's only me and you, Hero. Come on. Okay, I'm going to answer that question for you. <laughs> so he hasn't you know, Hero, the thing is this. If you know Hero, you know right away that he's a well-known chef, obviously, from social media and all that. Um, but, you know, when we're in Cuba, after we do the events, everyone just hangs around. And we're, like, in this beautiful house on the water. And he just starts cooking for people. So... Not necessarily trying to impress, but, you know, in the after parties, remember at, uh, at Santa Fe, you were cooking afterwards. You were making sushi for all the friends who hung around, who stuck around for everyone. Yeah, you had to be there. It was uh, pretty nice. Made all the fresh and sushi because people are probably still hungry and they wanted to have you make something. 
different. Has Hero ever cooked for a celebrity? Mm. Well, I can tell you when Novi was around, we had many, many people come by that were celebrity, celebrities. First and foremost, many of you know Pitbull. He was by a couple of times. Uh, Ryan Tannehill, quarterback for the um, no, uh, for North Carolina, mm -hmm. for the Tennessee Titans. Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis was by. We had a bunch of people. I mean, we had mus musicians. Uh, when I was working at the, uh, in South Beach, uh, David Caruso. David Caruso, yeah. For the CSI Miami. Hero, just using your finger, pick that up. Yeah. <laughs> Hero, what are you doing with the finger? You're not even, you're just picking it up with your it's fingers. He says it's not hot. All right, we don't recommend you guys do this at home. You know, like you just pick stuff like nothing. But uh, yeah, go take a look at um, what's, well, maybe on our on the Facebook page, you'll see some, some people. A lot of NBA players used to come by the restaurant because our restaurant used to be located just down the street from the AAA. Someone from Turkey. Thank oh, you from, so much for from, yeah, from Turkey. Turkey. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I want to show you from Turkey, right? He's from Turkey. One yeah, one viewer. I want to show you something. Like Richard, we don't have a restaurant anymore. That's been four years ago, so it's unfortunately we don't. Okay. So this is your Turk Turkish product, I guess. That's how you say it. Look at this one. What is this one? This is honey. honey. Nice. I think this yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, beautiful. Another super chat. Thank you so much to Tommy. Tommy's asking. Um, why is Hero throw away the beef fat? You can use it. Why do you throw away your beef fat? No, actually, I, I like beef fat, fat soup. But a beef tataki, um, I, I take it off. Yeah, for okay. for this dish. Oh, yeah, if we don't have a use for it, then he'll just throw it away. But you this is a beef tataki. I, I do, I do. So this is so simple. You guys can find a beautiful piece of New York strip steak, and uh, just sear it as you saw he did earlier just now. It's a little salt and pepper. I've done this many, many times, and look how beautiful that is. If you guys don't like your beef rare, try it this way. You guys will have your beef like this all the time. Can we go back to some of the questions while Hero is cooking? Joe is asking, any tips on how to cook up some frog legs? My grams picked up a couple last week and I've been saving it up for a couple of days now. Um, we did a couple frog videos, legs videos, and you'll see it. I think the quickest way is, you can see it, uh, salt and pepper, cornstarch, fry it. Yes. Yeah, that's the easiest way, right, Hero? With, uh Garlic and ginger. Garlic and ginger marinated with the soy sauce, yes. It gives that, that very, really nice flavor once it's fried up. But take a look at the frog video. You'll probably see it. Uh, it someone's asking, what is the difference between real and fake wasabi? Fake wasabi is basically powder. I'm going to walk you guys over here while Hero's doing that. And this is his cupboard. So this is fake wasabi. You guys have seen it in the stores. You see it in most sushi restaurants have it. I would say 98% of the restaurants out there uses. It's basically just horseradish. That's the main ingredient. It's in Japanese, but so you just mix it with water and that's the main ingredient. What we recommend people to get, and you can find this at Walmart, check this out. If you guys look on the right hand side, it says wasabi. In the top right hand corner, that's one of the ingredients. It does list horseradish as one of the ingredients, but Wasabi is in there as well. This is, uh, you can find this in the, the dry dry grocery area. Once you open it, you have to refrigerate it, but it's very potent. Probably the best tasting thing other than real wasabi, but horseradish is just very, very strong. Extremely strong and uh, very, very different from real wasabi. And let me see, you guys can see on our Instagram, we can pick up real wasabi from River Seafood Club as well. That's what we recommend buying your most of your sushi stuff. Most of your sushi, excuse me, sushi things to make sushi at home with. Oh, let me show you another thing here. This is one thing that we picked up at another at the store. This is probably even better than the 
Yeah, look at this. Kazami wasabi. You can find this at uh, a lot of Asian, well, not every restaurant has it, but the first ingredient list here, look at that, wasabi. And this is probably the best stuff you guys can use to get sushi at home. But again, this has to, you know, keep this frozen. Here, well, can we use some of this later? Sure. Do we have any dish for it? Yeah. How much was it? What's the price on that? Is there a price on the back? Uh, no, this is no price. I remember seeing it. I think it was like four something. It's, it's like $4.50 for that amount, but yeah. Okay, another super chat. Thank you so much to Sweet Sensation. Sweet Sensation. Sweet Sensation. You know who that is? Yes, yes, yes. You do? Yes. Sent you a super chat and yes. said, I would love for Hero to come to Texas and slay a steak for me. Yeah, he says thanks for following his second channel. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it so much. Okay, what is the best tuna sushi? That is from FNCS. Bunk, you'll see tomorrow. Video will be live by 11 a.m. tomorrow, Miami time or New York time. He makes this beautiful sushi, just amazing. The best I've had, and it's so simple. Starts with the best quality tuna again, and you'll see tomorrow. Hero has not raised his GTR. Uh, you guys will be hearing more about Nissan and this channel very, very soon. Wild hog video, yes, absolutely. We we have a we have something we have a pretty epic episode coming up. We're gonna be teaming up with another YouTuber, and we'll give you some more information as that comes. We're still working on that. No, we don't grow anything here. Hero doesn't grow anything here. Okay, this is so that's real wasabi. You see this, guys? This is real wasabi, and he just mixes it with panzu sauce. How late is it now? It's probably, what time is it now? Uh, six, almost seven. Almost seven o'clock. Almost 7 p.m. here. So that's it, guys. Look how simple this is. You got this beautiful beef tataki. This is probably the easiest dish you can make at home. You don't need the real wasabi, but try and get panzu sauce. You can find it in most places now, most supermarkets. Get a nice piece of New York strip steak. I know this is probably from Publix, right, Hero? Yes, this is from Publix. Yeah, it wasn't, um, you know, Publix has decent quality. It's not as good as Whole Foods, but just get a decent quality beef. Sear it as you saw him do. Sear it all over this flame. And then just add some ponzu and scallions. And you guys have amazing. So the difference between ponzu and soy sauce, ponzu has some citrus to it. That's the difference. Matthews from Ireland. From Dubin. Hey, did you see Conor McGregor? We were rooting for him a few weeks ago. We were hoping he'd win, but it was tough. Okay, let me go back to some of the questions. Do you guys, do you like Elton John, Hero? Mm -hmm. Do you like Elton John? Elton John, yes. I do. He likes Elton John. Okay, have us another super chat from Kaylin. Kaylin Brooks, thank you so much. Thank you. Question is for both Hero and Cameraman What is the most either of you have spent eating at a restaurant at one time? What's the most you spend at a restaurant eating? Probably Joe's, right? Joe's Stone Club. How much was it? For two person? Yeah. One time we spent almost 500. 500, right? So $500 at Joe's Stone Crab. For those who don't know, Joe's is located in the South Beach. Opened over 100 years ago. Stone crabs are harvested, you know, um, and served. Really, you can only harvest it, believe it's from... It's like September up until Mother's Day. Mm. May 15th. May 15th, right? But Joe's open throughout the summer, but their stone crabs were previously frozen. Mm. So that's about $500. And also, of course, we go to any sushi restaurant. Yeah, yeah. So that's fair. I mean, the thing here and now, we don't drink. Yeah. And the funny thing is, I'm going to walk you guys over here just to see this little bottle collection of his again. A lot of these are just, you know, Hero doesn't... I can't tell you when the last time he took a, a drink from his bar. Either just for a display. But Hero used to enjoy going out and drinking like beer, right? Yeah, recently he's not drinking at all. So just food-wise, about uh, close to 500. 
Stone crabs are very expensive. Okay, you're gonna cook some rice? Thank you all so much for being here again. We would not be doing this. We would not be here if it wasn't for y'all. And I can tell Hero sincerely appreciates it. You know, I, I know I talk a lot. Some of you, a lot of you complain that I talk too much, but if I don't talk, Hero's working and it's gonna be very quiet. So a lot of times I ask questions that a lot of you know already, but some don't, just so that they're answered to you right there on the, on the channel. You don't have to write and if you have any questions, because at the end of the day, this is about how to make sushi at home or how Hiro makes sushi in a professional level. So sometimes you have a question that you ask, maybe comment section. You know, we used to be able to comment back on every single comment, but it's been so hard lately. Everyone's just too busy and there's so many comments coming up. So um, we try to address certain questions that may seem obvious to many of you, but a lot of you have been here and you don't know how he does it and why he does certain things. We're just trying to repeat. So you um, you washed eight ounces of rice. Yeah. And then ten ounces. So the thing is this, eight ounces of rice, one part rice, one part water, plus a little bit extra. Maybe just half an ounce or something. Use a rice cooker. You guys saw from earlier, he made rice from a pot. This is the best investment right here. Mm -hmm. Not very expensive, maybe $25 from Target or Walmart. And uh, so simple. And as long as you get good quality white rice, you are you guys are gonna eat so good. Trust me. We I'm ready? Appetizer. Appetizer. <laughs> appetizer what brand rice? Okay. Oh, thank you so much, Joe. I'm gonna show you guys what brand brand rice. Oh. Okay. So this is the rice that we can get here. It's grown in California. It's called Koshi Hikari. And this is expensive. This bag was 15 pounds and it's around, I want to say maybe $30 or $35 or more or less. So it's by, the, the, by far the most expensive sushi rice out there that we can get here locally. Uh, there's other brands that are also very, very good, but here we just enjoys that one. And it's again, growing in California. Someone says, uh, not that good, it's okay. For us, it's actually the best one we can buy. There's probably better ones from Japan that we were there a couple of years ago, and that was really, really good. Uh, yeah. Botan, okay. Let me just look. Oh, Hero, please eat. I'm going to look at some of the questions while you eat. This is, again, a question and answer. You guys have any questions, please um, ask. Enjoy, Hero. Idakimasu. There is a wasabi farm actually in California, Half Moon, Half Moon Bay area. And they sent it to us. If you guys saw their video, we have another video coming out that's gonna exclusively show it, but definitely the product is excellent. And our friends at Riviera Seafood Club is carrying it right now. You guys can get it from them direct. Highly recommend trying it at least once. And if you can, this is called, um, they call it shark fin, but it's actually a stingray. This, this is stingray, it's not shark fin. All right, can you open it? Thank you, thank you. Someone asks, does a cameraman cook? I cook at home, believe it or not, I'm the one who cooks at home for my family. Uh, and they've told me it's good. I wanna believe them. <laughs> they told me it's good. I'm, I'm not a chef, but I've been cooking for many years in my own life from when I was single to, to now. You guys run out to your local supermarket, pick up some beautiful New York strip steak. You guys can pick up some panzu sauce, red onion, and you can make this at home now. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Mind blower is asking where else can I get fresh sashimi other than Riviera? Uh, there's other companies out there. There's Catalina. We, we, those are friends of ours as well. We met years ago. Um, there are, if you just Google, you can probably find some. Okay. Yeah, no, some other places that sell fish for, for mm -hmm. sushi, sushi or sashimi. You can find other, other suppliers out there. The reason why we recommend Riviera is because they themselves own a tuna farm. Mm -hmm. Their tuna is going to be top-notch. In fact, 
their tuna, when they're farmed, when it's farmed, they send it all over the United States. Um, that's number one. Number two, you can get a discount. You can get fifteen dollars off. Uh, you guys, I don't want to. You know, I'm not trying to sell anything on <laughs> on this live feed, but you guys, if you go to our videos, you'll see the information. Uh, you guys can get a discount, not just on your first order, which I know Catalina does that, but on every single order, fifteen dollars off a hundred or thirty-five dollars off anything over two hundred. So that to us is the best deal out there, and plus we know their product is excellent. Okay, Harold. What else? Another dish. Okay, very, very good. Hmm. Okay. So someone says we missed a super chat. I think we're on super chat right now. We're seeing some super chat. Let me, let me go up and because the comments are coming so, so, so quick. So I apologize, you guys are a lot of great comments out there. Uh, one question here, I'm going to read it because this looks interesting. Your hometown? <laughs> They're from your hometown? No, 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 no. It's uh, from the uh, Neko. Neko. How does Neko, Neko J. Oh, Nickel Water? Nickel G E W E H R. Okay. So thank you, very, thank you very much for this question. Uh, Hiro san, uh, Nihon de Ichiban Ski na Machua doko desu ka? And Ichiban Kirai na Machua. So which one is my favorite, number one, have a favorite town? And then which one? Which I In Japan, dislike? what's your favorite town? Okay. I really don't like uh, this ride. And well, maybe Tokyo is too busy for me. But uh, I like my hometown, Kochi. Kochi is beautiful. I can tell you that I was there. Yeah, cameraman actually went oh to my Kochi goodness, the food, so good. The people, people all over Japan are just inherently friendly, even at the airports. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. We're gonna get to these questions. Thank you guys for. for I'm, I'm still looking for that. So says we missed a super chat, so I'm gonna go back there and check it out. Maybe we missing this one too. How did you get the metal? Okay. Oh, okay. L. Aiden, I guess. Uh, we made this. Well, we didn't make it. We had it made. Oh, oh this one? Yeah. Oh, wait. It's custom, a... Custom-made. Yeah, custom-made. I can show you. We... Again, a long story, but... We have connections in the industry, so they made this for us. It's on casters. And... When he decided to go to the, come to the studio, because the restaurant was too loud to film, a lot of you were complaining that... The exhaust fans are too loud and all that. This is the best way because we can control it. Mm -hmm. And little do we know, it's so noisy on the street too. Mm -hmm. That's another thing, you know? The only thing is uh, a little bit, because I don't have any heavy duty stuff. So yeah. deep fryer. Uh, well, deep right, right. There's no deep fryer here. So for what it is, that's why we use this. Bernard, we've been using that since we've been here, like four and a half years. That way the filming, it's right in front of you. You can see the instruction as clear as possible. Uh, Hero's been back to Japan many, many times. We have never had camel meat. Epic, I haven't. Epic Jefferson. Epic Jefferson, thank, thank you so much for the super much. chat. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, from from where I'm seeing my perspective, the, the comments are coming up pretty quick. Okay, um, how do you approach food you've never cooked? And please try to reply. He's trying to learn. This is from Rohan Baines. How do you approach food you've never cooked before? If you never cooked something before, how do you approach it? Do you do some looking, do you Google it to see all the people uh, doing? Yeah, pretty much I watch YouTube to Google it too. Yeah. So there you go, YouTube I, is... I don't have any, no idea. Yeah. So. Okay, so Efren says, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, let me go back to some of these questions. Okay, here, what's next? Okay, let's go to make a katsu. Okay. So I'm gonna keep this one here, and you can keep, keep it here. Again, some of you asked, how can you guys come here to the studio? We used to let people come in more often, but that was before COVID. Hopefully soon we can have more people come in. 
Uh, Jeff, another super chat. Thank you so much, Jeff. Jeff is asking, thank you for introducing me to Kochi Rice and many other things. Do you have any bourbon? Um, do you have any bourbon in your house yet? We have a lot of bourbon, right? Bourbon? Bourbon. Uh, no, I don't, I don't. I said I don't have a bourbon. No bourbon? Yeah. These are mostly, well. I have only Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker? Yeah. A lot of whiskey. Kind of, kind of mostly whiskey. whiskey. Even this Habiki whiskey, which is his prized. He loves that. So no bourbon. Little Jägermeister. That's again heroes. Yeah, we gotta go to Kentucky. Well, Jack Daniels. What did I mean? That's just a whiskey, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah again, if you guys don't know, we were in Tennessee, had a private tour with Jack Daniels. Took care of us, and we have a really special recipe coming up. You guys are really in life like that. Aaron says, our boys made chicken nuggets and french fry sushi inspired by Willet Sushi. Thank you so much. <laughs> Love you too, Aaron. Which country do you guys plan on visiting after the pandemic? Uh, on the schedule so far, hopefully in this, in, you know, we're going to both try and get the COVID shot because it's going to make traveling easier. And if it helps even 1%, that's better than nothing, right? So not a big fan of vaccines, but we just, for traveling, we're going to need to do that. So that's going to be sometime in the spring. Uh, we have plans on going to Canada, somewhere in Toronto. That's going to be coming up soon as well, probably after or before the trip to the Faroe Islands. Faroe Islands looks like it's going to be in the spring. Uh, the people at Back and Frost Salmon asked us to go there, so we have plans to do that. Uh, Japan's also looking like another plan for Japan, maybe sometime September. Mm. And we normally go to California every single summer for VidCon. Obviously, with everything happening, we don't know if it's going to even open, but we'd love to go to California again, see our friends over there at the Sushi Chef Institute, Chef Andy, who was the owner at Sushi Chef Institute, one of our friends. Of course, other YouTubers that we've done collabs in the past with. It'd be great. Okay, what are you cooking? That's what Isaac is asking. We're cooking, here is cooking katsu, right? Pork katsu? Yeah, pork katsu. We don't have any, oh, actually, thank you so much for asking the question. This is from Kalabox, Kolabox, saying, do we have any plans of going to Norway? Actually, Norway? Yes. Close, by. Uh, close by, yeah. Well, the thing is this, we were, you know, if we go to the Faroe Islands, we're going to definitely travel maybe to Norway or somewhere like that, somewhere close by. We're not just going to go to the Faroe Islands and leave. So uh, this is another thing that we're working on, the heroes are working on is a film, a big film coming up with some people. We can't give you that much information because we're still getting the details, but basically they're going to have Hero travel to Japan with full film crew. Yeah, that's uh, from the Netherlands. From the Netherlands, right. So there's going to be a, a good-sized film crew. It's kind of do like an Anthony Bourdain, but kind of taking Hero, taking you all with Hero on a trip around, the, around Japan. And that's going to be, um, that was hopefully going to be done this year. We don't talk about that much, but we say that information for kind of like these live events that we're doing. We're going to be doing more of these as well. But thank you so much for being here. I see a lot of really nice comments. Uh, the best channel on YouTube. Wiener Schintzel. <laughs> Thomas, for sure. Thomas is one of our great friends. We are going to be coming to see you soon. Uh, another, yeah, another super chat from Ming Lee. Thank you so much. Hiro san. Hi, hi. What food you had impressed you the most? Most impressed? Yeah, what food have you had that impressed you the most? Mm, in, in Japanese cuisine? Or no, anything. Anything? Yeah. Ah, impressed. Mm. Would you say, are you a big fan of French food? Like? I do, I do, but... Not often, but I, I, I do. But any kind of cuisine, but... Uh, what impressed you the most? Impressed recently. Hmm. Or doesn't mean re recently, but maybe in your whole life. Like, what do you remember eating that really impressed you? Uh, when I first time I ate the raw oyster. Raw oysters? Oh, oyster. Really? Yeah. Because, you know, I, when I was little, uh, my mom cooked a fried oyster. Okay. But I don't like it. 
I don't like a lot of fried oyster. Because of the texture or the taste? Yeah, texture and kind of little mushy and all that. Kind of stuff. Yeah. I, I hate it. Okay. But uh, after the French restaurant, uh, actually in Japan. Okay. I went to a French restaurant and I ate the first time I ate the uh, half shell uh, oyster. Right? Yeah. Super fresh, so good. Okay. So then I like oyster again. So you're really impressed with the oysters. Okay, yeah, there you go. Uh, I, I do like uh, um, fried oyster now. Okay. Yeah, he likes fried oysters. Mm -hmm. So this is a pork chop. You remove the bone. Someone asked a question that I caught earlier. What kind of salt? Uh, salt and pepper. This is, um, it looks like some kind of Himalayan salt. This set was sent to us by someone. We don't know. Uh, we don't remember. I don't remember who it was sent. But a fan, I believe, sent it over to us. Appreciate that. So <laughs> here's been using the salt and pepper shaker grinder all this oh, time. Grinder, right? Yeah, yeah. So thank you so much. Here, how old were you when you started training to be a chef? I mean, in the start of the kitchen? Yeah. I was 20. You're what? I was 20. Oh, you're 20? Starting in the other kitchen. Right. But uh, when I first time I touched the fish, it was uh, about 10 years old. Okay. So here, oh yeah, he went professionally when he was 20, but 10 years old, he went fishing with his father. So that's what he did yeah, when he was younger. Pretty much my start. Yeah, and I can tell you that this guy is a true master. Thank you so much, Trippy, for being here. Thank you all so much. Someone asked for a view outside. Kind of dark now. I'm gonna bring you one more time. If you guys saw earlier, the sun's so absolutely beautiful. This studio you can see. And this is West. And this is a very busy street called Biscayne Boulevard. Facing up North. I'm north here. If you can see over here, it's some lights out there. That is a Hard Rock Stadium. That is where the Dolphins play. And this is what the studio looks like. Little wardrobe change for Hero. You guys play poker. This is our poker table. We haven't played poker in a while. Yeah, we miss playing poker. It's always a lot of fun. Okay, so Hero, heat up the oil. This is nothing you guys can do. You don't have to be a, a big chef. Just get some pork. If it's thick like this, it's great. And of course, keep the temperature a little bit lower so you don't burn the outside and inside still raw. Mm. A lot of these salt and pepper right here. What other seasoning do you have going on here? Uh, only salt and pepper. Just salt and pepper, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. salt and okay. Pepper. okay. And then... Let's okay. This is just flour, tempura flour? Yes, tempura. tempura flour, okay. Nathan's from Scotland. Thank you. Flour, egg, and then cut. Uh, this is the... Panko. Yeah, panko. Oh, my goodness. If you guys... Japanese people do this pork katsu so, so good. Here, what is your favorite sake? Uh, favorite. Huh? Sake? Yeah. Uh, sake. I did not have a favorite sake, but uh, I do like uh, cold sake more than hot sake. Yeah. Mm. He likes cold more than hot. Yeah. Uh, some more questions here. Have we, let's see here. We're Biscayne in the 70s. That's where we're located at. Uh, I, was, I was born in Chicago, Matthew. Um, if you see my personal channel, I kind of go through my childhood, show you guys where I grew up. Uh, someone says, will we host some celebrities we'd like to host anyone we can obviously you know when things get better but send us an email uh parents uh hero's father passed away a few years ago his mother's still in japan who i met a couple of years ago 11 years ago hero's father passed away 11 years ago yeah i met his mother uh when i was in kochi she was the nicest lady Someone that, when, like, when I saw her, I just wanted to hug her. She actually gave me a couple kisses, you know? Really? Yeah. Wow. And I said, Hero, you got to kiss your mom. And you wouldn't do it. Yeah. Right? Because in the culture in Japan. He says in the culture, it's not common for, for you no, to kiss your mother. If I did, my, father, my mom going to be hard attack. <laughs> <laughs> if he kisses mom, his mother would have a heart attack. Yeah, what's going on? 
Yeah, what's going on, right? No, see, okay, I totally understand that with the Asian culture, I, I guess I do understand what you're saying, but you know what? I got a couple of kisses from his mother. Sweet, she's the sweetest lady, and let me tell you. Her? Her first time experience kissing a stranger. Thank you so much. Blue Crush from New York. Thanks for being here. Uh, we already introduced Becker Frost Salmon. We did some cutting earlier. I'm going to show you later. He already did a dish earlier on. Uh, all right. Born and raised in Chicago. I was actually born in Evanston. Evanston Hospital. Uh, another super chat from Seth. Seth, thank you so much. Seth is saying, tell Hiroyuki I love the lobster and crab sushi videos. Yeah, he, Seth loves them. Yeah, we enjoy making them too. I mean, people don't like to see that kind of content, but if you guys want their freshest seafood, whether it's crab or lobster, you have to do it the same way. I mean, you know, you don't want a frozen lobster tail if you can get fresh lobster tail. It's a huge difference. Actually, I do many times uh, lobster tail sashimi in my second channel too. Yeah. That's a, you really need to buy lobster. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Another gentleman here, I think it's a gentleman, Yusuke Matsuo. He said, Japanese people don't kiss parents. Yeah, that's true. And I mean, that's, I understand. I, Hiro explained that to me too, so I, I do understand. I'm just thinking, you know what Hiro made a comment before? Japanese women will find, like Americans or Europeans, um, maybe better compatible because... The Japanese woman, we talked about this the other day. Oh, well, the Japanese, was... yeah, the Japanese woman, they're not used to all that affection. So when they have like an outsider, whether you're American or European and, or Latin, and you're very affectionate with the, with, that, with, the, with the Japanese lady, she'll fall in love with you head over heels. But if you're a Japanese guy and you're dating an American or a European, you'll be very upset because he's not going to show you any emotion. Right, Hiro? Yeah. They're very... Um, I mean, couple between women, I mean, from Japan, yeah. Japan from the, out of Japan, it's more easier. Right. right? But a man in Japan, Japanese, and the woman side from the foreign country, yeah. that's a little bit difficult. Right, right. Difficult. At least if she understands in Japanese culture, it's okay. Like not, in the culture things, right? So because of Japan, we don't have a daily spot of kind of stuff. Right. Open the door. Yeah, yeah, so see, that's the thing. How many times do you need to say, I love you, a day? I told you, a day. We don't, we don't have a zero. Here in Japan, he says they don't say, I love you. You don't say, I love you to, hopefully, the new generation. New generation. Maybe they do it, right? Yeah. I hope so, because but, uh, I think you should always show the other person that, you're, you, that you, you care about them, you know? So how long this is for? I mean, we weren't even timing it, but... Yeah, we, we, I, I do still more uh, fry that. Anyway. You're going to fry a little bit long? Yeah. All right, so let me go back to some of these comments while you guys watch Hero Cook. Daniel, welcome. Daniel's from Dublin, Ireland. <laughs> Mel says, come to Evanston. All right, what kind of oil? This is uh, corn oil, right? Corn. Yeah, we use mazola. Kevin, we're going to be in Toronto hopefully soon. We're going to be up there maybe when the weather gets better. From Toronto? Yeah, one of your... Yeah, go check with my friend on the place. Yeah, his Taro friend owns fish. Taro. Taro Fish, T-A-R-O Fish. He has two locations. Check them out. Very, very nice. Yeah. Someone said, okay, a boy was born in a Swedish convent hospital in Chicago. Wow, that's really cool. Okay. Let me see some of these questions. Patricia, thanks for being here. Appreciate it so much. Uh, Mirin substitute, I believe, rice vinegar and sugar. So great leader says, do more graphic videos. We have more coming, and that's something that Hero wants to be known for, doing all this graphic, but obviously, to have the freshest seafood, mm. it's gotta be live, and you had to learn how to do it. So, there's, you know, Hero's received a lot of hate. A lot of hate uh, because you... I have a lot of attacking comments in uh, my second channel, my Instagram. Yeah, the people, let me, let me just say something about this. I'll make it public because there's a lot of, there's some people who, they started a, a, a petition. I mean, real jokers here, I can tell you that. Because what, what do you, I mean, what, you have to get everything frozen? No one's, I mean, you got to learn how to do it. I mean, if you get a, a fresh lobster or a fresh crab, how do you prepare it? 
you know, you, there's a certain way to do it. And so that's why Hero, you know, he, he chooses to do that. But anyway, um, okay. what is your favorite knife at the moment, Hero? My, my favorite knife? Yeah. I like this one. Anyway, I, I like this knife. But, uh, so this is his go-to, the, it's called the Masahiro. And that's what he cuts most everything with, you know? When he's slicing a fish, he uses this Minono Kuni. If, if, if I do like a sushi, I, I do use this one. Yeah. This is a 88 slice one. Okay. Yeah. So this is his, this is what he's using now. The blade is excellent. This knife here is the one that he got the world record with. 88 slices of carrots in 30 seconds. This is a, more like a vegetable. Like a vegetable knife. Where's your deba, Hero? Oh, the one deba actually, actually I gave it to when I was in Cuba. Yeah. I gave, I gave it to... We were in Cuba, what, a year and a half ago and he gave it to a chef over there. Uh, this is not the from the... This is my uh, original one. Original Deba here. How old is this knife, Hero? Uh, more than 15 years. More than 15 years old, okay. Then this knife, I think, uh, even you, you never see. Okay. You never see. What knife is that? This is uh, also. Ah, oh, you're right. I haven't seen that knife. This is a custom made. Custom made? Oh, look at that. Yeah. I mean, the combination with the handle and the uh, uh, I choose like, this handle. I okay. This nice. Aaron, thank you so much for being here. Aaron says they've been locked down in New York. We feel for you guys. I mean, you guys have been, I think it's only 25%. It's just crazy. Uh, unfortunately, New York is, you know, New York is locked down. You guys come to Florida. Florida is completely different. Now with the vaccine out and people kind of, you know, being more aware of the, you know, the virus and all that, hopefully it gets better for everyone. And hopefully you guys will open up soon. Um, they're not from, from the same uh, Smith, mainly. Uh, this is Minono Kuni, Masahiro, there's Kokuchi. It's another Minono Kuni. We're out of Miami, Patricia. We've been out of Miami for, for a long, long time. Oh, wow, look at that knife. Look how thin it is. It's because it keeps sharpening it. It just wears it down. Hero, can you say hello to Daniel? Hello, Daniel. Okay, there you go. Shout out. Uh, someone says you should do a food truck. We have a friend that has a food truck, sushi food truck. Anyone want this? What are those? Okay, so how many do you have here? Oh, you have three knives? Okay, so you guys go to Instagram and leave a message on tomorrow's post that you want one of these knives. Yeah, and Hero's going to pick three. You want to sign it tomorrow, Hero? Yeah, I can do that. He'll sign it tomorrow for you and just for being here. Go to Instagram tomorrow's post about the tuna and just say, I saw the knife, send it to me, and we'll pick three people. Okay. <laughs> it's a magnet. These are magnets, so we'll send that to you as well. So thanks again for being here. These are little knives. Uh, yes, we'll be doing more giveaways coming up soon. You guys stay tuned. Uh, we'll send it anywhere, anywhere in the United States. Uh, excuse me, anywhere in the world. We'll send these anywhere in the world. So tomorrow, make sure you follow us on Instagram. Right comment. And I apologize. Let me get back to the, all these questions. You guys are... Uh, okay, Randy. Randy says, do a knife sharpening show. Very true. We should do that. Yeah. Yeah, we can do it. Yes. What's the most expensive knife you own? Probably the Minono Kuni, the carbon steel one, right? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, the Minono Kuni carbon steel. I think it's a couple, like two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Someone's asking, why do you double cook the pork, double fry it? 
Oh, well, at the temperature, the oil is too high. Oh, okay. Kind of, um, okay, the oil is too high. Yeah, and also this meter is very thick. Okay. It's a little more longer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if it's, uh, you know, it's too high, instead of letting it burn and the inside yeah. not cooked, just take it out, let the oil cool down, and then put it back in. It wasn't a technique. It was just trying, <laughs> trying to say the pork katsu. Instagram is Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef. And you guys can see it in the, um, on the channel itself. On this YouTube channel, you see the, the links down below. You want to give more stuff away? Wow, Hero. Okay. He's going to give more stuff away. Uh, question is, are we hiring? No, we're not hiring. We Hiring, Hero would hire a new cameraman. Who wants my job? You have to be able to film whenever Hero's able to. But well, thank you so much for uh, asking. Um, Hero has one world record, Guinness World Record, for slicing the most carrot slices in under 30 seconds. And that would be, that was done on live with Gordon Ramsay almost four years ago. Wow, it's been so long. Thank you so much for watching from Virginia. This is from Rashawn. Anyone wants to t shirts? You're going to give away t shirts? Yeah. Wow. Uh, uh, Peter, we're going to be headed to Japan sometime later this year. That's a plan anyway. <laughs> You're so worried about giving stuff away. You're going to burn our dinner, Hiro-san. Hiro, have you tried a Chinese cleaver, those Chinese knife? Have you tried it before? Yeah, I have a Chinese knife. Oh, he has a Chinese knife here? In the box. In the box? In the box? Oh, on top of the rice here. Here's his Chinese cleaver. Take a look. So I don't know what he has plans with, with this, but this is what it looks like. Uh, I'm not so good with He's not so good with this. Yeah, this is a different kind of cutting motion. Okay, almost. Yeah. So almost done. Okay. Okay, so he's gonna go. We have a bunch of giveaways. Uh, one thing I want to tell you all is. Okay, what is this here? This short one. From Tennessee. Okay, let's move this way, Hero. It's a M size. Area. This is a medium. Okay, so this will be part of the giveaway for tomorrow, right? Yeah. Okay, what else? And uh, also, this is from Tennessee. Uh, size medium. This is another uh, medium. Autrium. Okay, nice. This is from the Ryman Theater. Ryman Theater. All right. Well, you guys, there's going to be a, another great video coming with the. Yeah. Got a VIP tour of the Ryman. That's where country music started. This one, I should. Uh, Something maybe my yeah, yeah, that's fine. So All right, so two giveaways. So again, remember, go to Instagram, Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef. The link is in our channel here. Follow it. Say you want a giveaway. So you got three knives and two T-shirts and some of these magnets. Yeah, I want to get back to our food. Bo, can you say, uh, Hero, can you say hello to Bo's son? Bo's son? Yeah, Bo's son. He's Bo. five years old. He loves to watch your videos. Bo's son, but uh, what's his name? Bo? I don't know his name. Oh, Reginald. Reginald. Reginald, yes. Reginald, hello, hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. <laughs> How's it, Hero? Good. Okay. So, Hero says perfect. What he does is it puts a toothpick and then he leaves in there for a couple seconds and takes out mm -hmm. and puts it in the just beneath his lip and if it's hot that means inside the temperature i guess more than 140 degrees you know it's cooked all the way so you can use that technique with uh, any chicken or fish right? okay the anticipation eve thank you so much he says uh they say wanted to say your channel has taught me so many japanese cooking techniques and i really appreciate the amazing videos Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And we can't repeat it enough. Without you guys, we wouldn't be even doing this at all. So, so we're gonna do sometime from this live YouTube live. Yeah. So, anything people wanna see, cooking or whatever. Yep. Right, right. Uh, my name is Charles. Someone asked 
My name is Charlie or Charles? Charlie. Charlie or Charles. I guess either way it would work. Another thing is we are working with Pop Shop Live. We've done several live cooking shows with them, and we're going to start again. So be sure you – well, um, we'll make an announcement on Instagram again. It's going to be a great – you guys can get stuff from Riviera Seafood Club and cook along with Hero as he's cooking. So that's going to be a, a fun time together. It's great for couples or – by yourself or with your family, whatever you like. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Ray, Rayan says, is Hero married? No, Hero's not married. Still available. Still available. Send your resume. Send your resume, yeah? Yeah. Uh, that person was from, well, they said is from Washington State. Washington State? Yeah. Come over. Come over. <laughs> Uh, Kalava, say hello to Kim. Kim is a big fan, Hero. Kim? Yes. Hi, hi. Good evening and good afternoon. Good afternoon, Kim. Uh, what is your favorite dessert, Hero? I kind of know, but what is your favorite dessert? My favorite dessert? Yeah. My favorite dessert is a uh, um, uh, shortcake. Shortcake? Yeah, and the okay. tiramisu. Tiramisu. Yeah, and then brown or pudding, whichever you call uh, pudding or brown. Yeah, yeah. I know when we go to Joe's, I know you love the key lamb pie. Hero, Hero has a sweet, a sweet tooth. He likes desserts. I should not eat much, but... Uh, yeah, like but right, right. I like tiramisu. Any, any restaurant with tiramisu, I see on the menu. I love the tiramisu. And yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Aaron says his wife wants you to give away some whiskey. <laughs> the whiskey? Yeah. Whiskey? <laughs> whiskey. I think whiskey is only, you can send it in the United States only. Not even. You're not even supposed to send it through the mail. You can send it through, oh. I think, the post office or FedEx, but you can't tell what's inside. Something like that. I don't even know. Oh, I, I can make it long giveaway. Right? <laughs> Give away when you come to the studio. We'll, he'll, he'll open a bottle for you. Wow. Hero says, if you guys get to come here, he's going to give away something to you guys here. Especially this one's very premium. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna give away this one. This is a numbered bottle. Yeah, it's a five five. Yeah, yeah. All right. Hibiki. Oh my goodness, very very expensive. All right, here, son. So you don't the the pork katsu, right? Pork katsu, baby. Okay. So I do. Uh, we're gonna share. Yeah. Steve says, hi, from San Juan. Yeah, San Juan Paristista. Sorry, I pictured that name. Someone says, if I visit Miami, how, do I, how does he visit the studio and play poker? Sure. Um, you know what the buy-in is, John? If you know the buy-in, maybe you wouldn't, you wouldn't play with us. <laughs> no, we're just kidding. No, it's a friendly. Friendly game, right? Friendly, friendly game. Friendly game. The buy-in is what? Maybe... We used to play twenty dollar buy-ins just for fun. So someone we have some money to buy some food after, get some pizza delivered or something. Uh, send us an email anytime you guys want Hero to. You have a question for a Hero? Please send us an email. That's the quickest way. He sees his email every single day. Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef at Gmail. What is your favorite tofu dish, Hero? Tofu. Yeah, your favorite tofu dish. Uh, it's also very simple. I like a hiyaku. Hiyako. Yeah, it's a cold tofu. Cold tofu. Yeah. Okay. It's a soy sauce and a bonito fried. Okay. And uh, uh, ginger. Okay. Bonito okay. Ginger. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. You, nice. If you go for a little fancy. Yeah. Yeah. You can make fancy for this dish, but uh, a simple way, you know. Right. And, uh, and also agedashi tofu. I like agedashi tofu. The fried one. Fried one. Oh yeah, yeah. True. I love that one too. Yeah, I like that one too. Okay. Mm. And also skiaki or sometimes called nabe. Uh, hot, pot. hot pot, yeah, that's really, really good. Inside. Okay. Uh, tofu is actually like a farm tofu. That's yeah, yeah. Hard one. For yakko, we the uh, silky uh, tofu. Okay. Mm. Yeah, and also goma tofu. Goma tofu. Yeah, it's a, it's a different, but uh, it's a made by sesame. Okay. Sesame tofu. I like that one very much. Okay, a couple of questions here. Hero, what is your, what is your, well, let me find out, what is your favorite food? What country? Uh, also, uh, except the Japanese food. No, including Japanese. Is Japanese your favorite food? Mm, Japanese favorite food, I think. 
Tonkatsu. Okay, after Japanese food, what is your next favorite kind of food? Your favorite cuisine? I think I go with the Italian. Italian, uh, really? Actually, Chinese. I like Chinese food. Chinese, I know you love Chinese. Yeah, Chinese food. I like Italian food. Uh, some French food, yes. Some. Mm, yeah, those three is very strong. Okay. And, uh, I, I, I eat some Russian food or Romanian food. Yeah. Uh, I like that too. Okay. Uh, German cuisine, I don't know much. Pick up a little. Yeah. yeah. From German cuisine, I don't know much. But yeah, I, yeah. I, I try some of the, the schnitzel, those schnitzel. Schnitzel, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. So, Italian, some French, Chinese, Russian, Romanian. <laughs> That's a, uh, Indian food too. Indian food you enjoy, yeah. And then some of the Indonesian style. Okay. Uh, that's what I like. Uh, I tried, uh, I have tried uh, Peruvian cuisine. Peruvian, yes. Mm. Some of that I like it. Right. Mm. I like the ceviche, of course. Mm. So I need to pick something. No, it's okay. You're mostly Chinese and Italian. That's what. Mm. And then Hero lives by himself. Someone's asking so if you live by yourself. I try anyway. Uh, if people gave it to me or give it a try, yeah, I already tried the food. Yeah, yeah. Hero tries everything. Tried thing, so. I can tell you when you're in Cuba, Hero, ate, I couldn't eat the food there. I just couldn't because, unfortunately, um, I just saw how it was prepared, and I just yeah, felt like uh, you know, it's not so good sanitize, yeah, sanitization uh, is just not that great right now. Um, so, I have a really sensitive stomach. It's very sensitive stomach. Hero, what are we eating here? Is this ready to go? Yeah, it's ready to go. I gotta, okay. I gotta give you some sauces. For Bob is saying, I'm planning on going salmon fishing here in Alaska when the season comes. Do you know how it would be compared to taste in other locations? Um, I personally don't. Um, I don't know if Hero knows about... Hero. Mm -hmm. Yes. How's the taste from... Well, Alaskan, if you're going fishing, uh -huh. the meat's, you know, not as fatty. It's different, you know, the leaner, much leaner, the, the Alaskan salmon. Alaskan salmon. Yeah, yeah, when you guys, when you go there mm. fishing and stuff. Um, so the taste is going to, it's definitely different. It's not as rich. Mm. In sushi restaurants, they hardly use yeah, those wild caught. Recently, I don't like much of the party, party side. Mm -hmm. Even the bluefin toro, or even the Kobe beef, yeah. or wagyu beef. Uh, I can eat it, mm -hmm. but I cannot eat as a lot. Like, yeah, yeah. Like before. What's your favorite restaurant in North Carolina? North Carolina? Yeah, do you have a favorite restaurant in North Carolina? Mm, because I don't know. You don't know North Carolina. North Carolina? I'm trying to I'm trying to get him to go there. Hopefully we'll be visiting there soon. I'm oh, very easy, easy. How about Olive Garden? You've been to Olive Garden before? No. No? no. <laughs> he hasn't been to Olive Garden. Oh, okay. So okay. I'm very easy guy. I love Olive Garden. The I salad is great. Eat. I try yeah. I, I do eat, uh, I do eat, uh, of course, fast food. Uh, people just uh, sometimes... Ask me to complain about, oh, why you go to like, uh, but I like it. I yeah, yeah. Hot, hot, hot dog stand. Hot dog stand. Hero eats everything, I'm telling you. I do eat any. Yeah. I mean, all different types of okay. cuisine. Whatever, sea like, grade, or egg grade. Sure. Or grade. Uh, I, I do eat everything. Yeah, Hero, he's, he eats everything. So, let's look at the pork. Wow. So, you see this? Perfectly done. That toothpick. Too thick way it works. You see, it's still steaming too. Yeah, um, that's the heat. Actually, cooking when cooking the chicken. Yeah. Or pork. Uh, overcooking. Overcooking, yeah. Overcooking. So that's the thing. You guys cannot overcook the pork. Because Look the how pork juicy it is still. You really need to cook down, right? But a lot of people actually cooking overcooking. You see how moist it looks? Can it? Not it shows up on the camera, but super moist. The problem is people are so afraid. They overcook it. They overcook it by maybe two or three hundred percent. And that's the problem. Look at this beautiful steamed rice. That's your rice. Thank you, thank you. How about Portuguese food? You like Portuguese food? Portuguese food. I've been to a Portuguese restaurant before. Oh, okay. Uh, I ate some codfish. Codfish, okay. Yeah, codfish. Okay, uh, okay. I think codfish is very popular in Portugal. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I, I cannot remember the name of the dish, but I, 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 I like it. You like it, right? I like it. Mm. I'm gonna ask Guga next time to take us to Olive Garden for sure. Hero, he say hello to Erin. Erin? Erin, yeah. Erin, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to all you guys. Thank you so much uh, for being here again. In the evening now. Yeah, in the evening. Someone wants a new WTF video. You got 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, we did a crazy video with that. Uh -huh. Okay, here's Han. Enjoy. Let's yeah, eat. Please. I am not going to be shy. If someone says, "Yeah, he." This is a QP. You guys saw QP. Oh, thank you, thank you. Hmm. Hmm. How do you like it? Ah, oh, perfect. So good, hero. Mm -hmm. No, I'm good, hero. Thank you. Oh, yes, if you have it, please. We're filming from the studio right now. This is Hero Studio. Can I give you a quick view from over here? That's the old sign from the restaurant. This is in Miami, Florida. This is a spring break capital of the United States. And there's a tra traffic jam right now. Look at this traffic. Huge traffic. And of course, these cars don't let these cars go through. And that's why there's a traffic jam that's back the ball all the way there. It's a river road as well. Yeah, there's, there's a, there's a bad situation going on over there. Thankfully, we're up here. And that's where Hero cooks. Hero got a, another super chat from Banzai Yama. Banza -yama. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, send a little kitty. Look at the kit, the cat, the kit here, the kitty. Uh, right here. Oh, 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 you see it? Yes, 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 yes. Like a cat. Thank you so Thank much. You much. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. Just mm -hmm. really appreciate that. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Connie Cream Crook, Crookie, okay. Crookie, yeah. Connie Cream Crookie. Yeah, yeah. That's a very good one. Jacob says, can I hire you for an anniversary dinner? Jacob sent an email to Hero, diaries of a master sushi chef at Gmail. Uh, Fabio, todo bang from Brazil. Oh. My wife is from Brazil. Brazil from São Paulo. São Paulo, Rio. Rio, which one? Yeah, yeah. Brasilia. <laughs> That's right, Hero knows a lot. Hero, yeah. come on, please eat. Yeah, yeah. I have a friend in the Brazil, São Paulo. Nice. Does Hero live here? No, he doesn't live here in the studio. He comes here, he spends a lot of time here. There's a couple couches there that he can stay here if he wants to, but just a studio. Yeah, this studio is actually interesting. You got you could live here. A lot of people live here. There's also businesses here, there's attorney's offices, accountants, um, but yeah, people can live here. It used to be, I guess, in the back in the day, a bank building and um, apartments too. How's it here? Mm. Mm. Uh, sweet sensation, yes. We Hero has made a takoyaki recipe on the channel. You can see it. Have you made gimbap? Have you tried making gimbap before? Gimbap uh, uh, looks like a futomaki. Right? Yeah, it looks like a futomaki, right? Mm -hmm. Is it that? Is that what we're talking about? Or bim? Is that bimbap? Oh, bimbap. Bimbap. Yeah, bimbap. Bimbap is like a. Uh, we're killing the name. The sorry. And, uh, lot of stuff on it. Yeah. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah, Korean food. I Korean that. food. I like. I love you Korean food. About what kind of food? I like the Korean food. Mm-hmm. There's a, someone says, can you do a halal food challenge? Halal? Halal food challenge, yes. Halal? Halal. Halal, it's a way they, they kill the beef. It's like uh, the Middle Eastern. Ah, that, yes. Halal, halal beef. Oh, no, probably not. Have you done that? No. I know at iFresh, they sell halal meat. Mm. Yeah. Another super chat. Thank you so much. Banzai. Mm. Banzai Yama Review. He goes, I love Hiroyuki. Uh, it says, I am half Japanese and Italian. Love watching the channel. Thank you so much for watching. That's Italian? And Japanese. Wait, half wait, and wait, half. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, here says, wait, wait. He's going to come back. Meanwhile, I'm going to have a piece of this. He'll be back in a second. Oh, wow, look at this. Grappa, Grappa nice. Yeah, nice, nice. So they're half Japanese and half Italian. Hmm. This one like that. Half Japanese and half Japanese. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. 
Chin chin. Oh, so good, so good. Yeah, yeah. Really, really good. Oh, I love it, Hero. Mm. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you so much. I'm trying to get to more of the questions here. And right now we're coming up 7.45. Wow. For those of you still here, here's doing a giveaway. Make sure you go to the Instagram channel. Instagram page. Uh, on tomorrow's post of the sushi, Toro Sushi, you're going to see the pictures. Saying you want your one to be entered in the giveaway. He's going to give away three of these knives. There's three here. And then there's a couple T-shirts here from Jack Daniels and uh, the Ryman Theater when we were there. And he's going to see what else he can give away. You don't have to be in the United States to be part of the giveaway. As a lot of you know who are been with the channel, whoever wins the gifts, and as far as anywhere in Europe or wherever, Australia or wherever, Hero sends it. Absolutely. Oh my God, Bonsai just sent me a, <laughs> thank you so much. Bonsai just sent me a, a super chat. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate all you guys here, honestly. Again, if you're not here, I wouldn't even have an opportunity to eat this delicious food. So um, I am super honored. I am extremely humbled for all of you guys who are really enjoying Hero's videos. And I just can do whatever I can to be a part of it and just film. Uh, you asked, there's a question here, will you share a website? Yes, for the left-handed Deba knife, go to knifemerchant.com, knifemerchant.com, and they've been a support of this channel ever since the channel was pretty much started, and you guys can find their information in one of the videos in the description box. Hello, hello to 555 Full Metal. Aaron, thank you again so much. You're giving that away? Oh, okay. Okay, look, let's let's show this. Look what Hero's giving away, guys. Another giveaway. He's going to give away the Ryman Auditorium. Okay, so that's where we got that at the Ryman Theater. You never worn it, yeah. Brand new. Brand new. And next one is my jacket. Wow. You're giving away this? Yeah. Okay, guys, Hero's giving away this chef coat with his... This Hero, bring that over here. I want to show people the quality. <clears throat> I didn't know you were going to do this either. This is embroidered. Great quality here. Your chef coat, the one that you... He actually has two of them. And uh, a couple sponsors here. Knife Merchants on here. Wow, that's a beautiful jacket. What size is that? This is a... Uh, you know, hey, that'll fit me, Hero. A little, 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 little small to me. How about me? Now, I try to get something smaller. Hero's yeah, losing weight, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, this is a little bit way too small. Around right, shoulder, you know. around the shoulders. Yeah, so, it's a, uh, yeah. When I made this one, I could, but. Yeah. I'm getting more muscle right now, so. Getting so, big, yeah. yeah. So if people want this, yeah. All right, if you guys want this jacket, comment in the Instagram post for tomorrow, and we'll pick out a winner for that, too. Wow, I didn't know you can do that, Hero. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> giving away everything. You can't wear it anymore. I have one more anyway. Okay. Oh my gosh! Look, we got a super chat here. Yeah. Mikaela Varela says, "We're at McDonald's right now." Oh my goodness! I'm gonna focus on. I'm gonna focus on McDonald's. Look at that. There's a car there. There's a car there. Hero san, there's a car and drive. There's someone, one of your super chats in McDonald's right now. Who? Mick Ella Varela. In the McDonald's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which Look, is, I don't know. There's a there's a car there. There's a it looks like a mini. There's well, a car that's turned off. Here? Yeah, there's someone, one of your super chats. There's a McDonald's oh, right, there, right, there, right there. Oh yeah. Mini. Oh my goodness. Look at the mini. Good afternoon. <laughs> wow, look at that. What a small world. That that there? Yeah. You sure? I guess so. There's other cars in the drive through too, so I don't know what car they're in. Are you sure? Yeah, they just said, look, Super Chat. No. Uh -huh. This is over in the McDonald's right now. No, but of this McDonald's you took Look. About? Yeah, we're at the McDonald's right now. That's so funny. You, you see that? Yeah. Oh. Wow, they, they tracked you down, Hero. They know where you're at. <laughs> 
Well, thank you so much. You know, I know it's been two hours already. You guys who are here so far, we can't thank you enough. If you guys want this chef coat, make sure in the Instagram post tomorrow you say chef coat. That's all you have to say. And we're going to enter you just in this giveaway for this beautiful chef coat the hero has. If you want the knife, say knife. And if you want the t-shirts, he's got three t-shirts here, write down t-shirts. And if you want it all, then I guess individually write them all. Here's on, this looks so good. Oh, Mark. All right, thank you so much, Mark, for the super chat. It says, thank you for the videos, Hero. My sushi making skills have improved so much and my 16-year-old daughter is even eating sushi at Sashimi right now. Mark, did you make that for her? We hope you did. Yeah, let me tell you, sushi is, as long as you have this done right, as long as you have the rice done right, the season right, and you have good products, again, we highly, highly recommend using back of frost salmon, if you can find that, as well as getting products from River Seafood Club. We have discounts that so you guys can save a bunch of money. And then let me tell you, you guys can, not, it's not only about saving money, but there's a type of satisfaction that people, that you can get when you make a delicious meal and the whole family enjoys it. You know, that's my feeling about that. That's what you do every day. I'm trying to do that. My family says they like my food. I, I hope they're being honest with me. I don't know, but Mark, thank you again. We hope that, um, yeah, that she's enjoying your food. Mark's, Mark makes sushi once a week. That's wonderful. Uh, we're gonna do Costco soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. We are gonna do that for sure, okay? Costco. Okay, what else? Let me read some more questions here. Uh, Hero, you, Hero's the best. By anyway, all questions, please send us email, by the email, too. Yes? Pop, pop three cent fights, are you going to the Canelo, Canelo, Canelo fight? Hard Rock, I don't think so. Because I know, here you're not, you're not, you don't follow boxing. You're not going to go to the Hard Rock for the fight, right? No, really, but uh, I, I saw the last one, uh, Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah. Pay -per -view. That was good. Uh, I like the fight. Steve says, I love you. Uh, Hero's code to fill... Oh, that's great. Aaron used the code to fill up the back of frost salmon. Oh. That's great. We're trying to get Riviera to sell that too. They're going to be contacting them, so hopefully that'll be soon. I'm going to go up to some of the questions again because we're going to be ending this pretty soon. Thank you so much again for all of you being here. Um, again, he made... Oh, the salmon here. Oh, we got one. Oh, oh. Yeah, we got to take that one out, the last one that you made earlier. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> you, oh, I, I, that's, I forgot about that. <laughs> good, good, good. Good to remind me. I'm like, something's missing here. And yeah. that's a salmon dish that you made in the beginning. So again, this was, in case you all missed it, Becker Frost Salmon sliced about, I would say, a quarter of an inch thick, salt and pepper, cornstarch, he fried it. And then he's got ponzu sauce with onions and, and some lemon. And this is served cold, right? Yeah, something cold. This is served cold. So... Tristan Blue, making your teriyaki recipe right now with the teriyaki burgers. Any suggestion? Huh, good question. Um, as long as your sauce is good, I guess, you know, you can't... Burgers are, are excellent anyway. I love burgers. And I know here it does as well. I don't think you can really go wrong once you have the teriyaki sauce done right. The hamburger? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Estella says, I need to sleep now, Hiroyuki. You pick up my name for the knife. <laughs> we try. Make sure you follow Hero on Instagram. Diaries of a Master. So she said, Jesse, thank you so much for being here. This is another super chat. John, thank you so much. Look what John wrote. You are amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank John, you. thank you so much. Thank you so much for all the super chats tonight. Can express our gratitude. I know Hero's so thankful that you guys are here. Just being here, spending time is is amazing supporting the channel i know not everyone can but just being here really appreciate so so much uh michael another super chat hero michael. question yeah michael has a super chat question oh, thank you, very much. Thank you. Yes. any substitutes for rice and sushi if you are looking to do low carb or keto instead of rice instead of rice what what can you what can you recommend uh, we had that question come in some of the comments before uh, recently if, if it's donburi or something, but I'm making roll. Mm. 
How about this? How about cauliflower rice? We're going to try that yeah. with cauliflower rice. You may have a hard time making it stick, but we can try that. How about the Naruto? So what Hiro's done before, he took a cucumber and he kind of peeled it and then he just used that to roll it up. And so there's no rice at all. You can try quinoa. There is a little bit of carbs. I know there's protein as well, but that's a great question. Um, we are going to, we're going to actually explore that more and try to do something uh, with that. Had to make some keto friendly sushi. There's been a lot of requests for that. Raquel, another super chat. Thank you so much, Raquel. Raquel says to you, Hero, I learned to make yakitori, tempura, and sushi watching you. Thank you so much for watching and for making it. I mean, it's one thing that you watch, it's one thing that you guys watch Hero make sushi. It's another thing when you can make it at home. It's a whole nother level. And to be able to enjoy I I, I this food. I want to see. We need to do. Let's do a, if you guys can make a shorter video with your iPhone or whatever Galaxy or whatever, send us a shorter video. We should make it that on, on, the, on our YouTube channel. Okay. You know, so show us your- Show us what you can do, send a quick skills. clip. Yeah, send a quick clip over. Uh, 30 seconds or one minute, uh, one minute. Yeah. Shorter video is fine. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, and then I'm gonna pick winner too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna show, uh, Dish Medic FX, you can make cauliflower rice sticky by mixing jello powder. Okay, that's good. Uh, even, even the regular, regular cooking, whatever you guys try, that's yeah. from our recipe or whatever your original. I want to see. Right, right. So, that's in this uh, short of video. Short sentence or short video. Okay, another another challenge here. Yeah, carnival yeah. food challenge. C carnival? Carnival food. You know, you go to the carnival, you get popcorn and pretzels and elephant ears. Oh. That's interesting. Um, you don't think that Yakuza is going to send someone to take Hero away if he does that? <laughs> we have the gas station. Gas station. Have you guys haven't seen that? Look up gas station sushi. I had so much filming that with Hero. Hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing. It was the most it's the funniest thing ever. The uni was good. Yeah, the uni was good. Oh, the uni. Michael, you're welcome. You guys so thankful for you to be here. Before we end this video, Hero, let's try this out. Yeah. So again, this is um, salmon. It was yeah, salmon. salt and pepper with panzu. Served cold. How's it, Hero? Mm. I, I like this one. We, we do haven't one. done this on the channel. Maybe you're going to do it on the channel next, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. For people to see. This one with a little small fish, whole mm. fish. Swag up. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes we do it with the chicken too. Mm. So good. Someone says, stop hiding behind the camera. Um, the show's not about me, in case you didn't know, guys. It's about Hero. And it was never a thing until it really became a thing to showcase his beautiful, delicious recipes. But that's pretty much it. Thank you again so much for being here, guys. Um, how often do you want to do these live videos, Hero? Maybe how once a month? Yeah. At least once a month, but uh, we can do more often. Yeah. If people like it. Okay, if you guys like it more often, please let us know. And uh, thank you so much for being here. And thank I'm you. I'm going to look for something I can give it away. He's going to look for something. <laughs> thank you so there much for. There's a shopping video coming up to the YouTube too. The which one? I go to shopping. Shopping video? Okay. Buy something. So All right. Give it away. Sounds good. And. Um, Hero, have you been to Nebraska? Hero's never been to Nebraska. I know you. Mm -hmm. Someone asked a question like that earlier. Um, and that's pretty much it. I've been to very little states. Yeah. I, when I was over uh, Washington, D.C. Yeah. Uh, New Jersey. Yeah. New York. And here's uh, only Florida, right? Right. And then we went to Tennessee. We, I went to Ken uh, Kentucky, West Virginia, and California. Right, right. That's it. I never been to Las Vegas, Arizona, Nebraska. No. So many of those states, I don't know. Yeah. So hopefully soon. Mm -hmm. And more to that coming soon, guys. We have a huge announcement, and you guys will hear about it maybe in the next couple of weeks. Um, thank you all for being here. I know some of you just joined. Um, sorry, you guys follow us on Instagram. We try to, and also here in the communities, we try and make announcements so people know if you have any questions. I'm sorry if I didn't get to all of your questions. If I missed any of you on the Super Chat, please let me know. Let us know and send us an email. Uh, Hero, you send something to them just for missing your Super Chat. We'll go back and watch this as well. 
But thank you all so much for being here. Can't wait to try these delicious dishes. The tonkatsu, pork, pork. We have the salmon here, and we have this beautiful, delicious steak. New York strip tataki. I can't wait to try it. But um, two hours is a long time. Hopefully you guys enjoy this time as much as we did. I know so I time, did. Time is actually this hour is good for everybody or we should uh, more audio? Uh, just let, let us know. Yeah, let us know. This works for everyone. We try to do it so our friends in Europe can also uh, attend. It's probably very early there right now. Well, Europe is actually it's, uh, already late night. Yeah. That's but, true. Uh, West of course is no problem. Yeah, yeah. East of course is of course. Okay, um, oh, let me just read a couple more things before we go. Chris says we have a few, quite a few Japanese in Greenville, South Carolina. Come and visit. Definitely, we definitely will. Um, are you going to post this video as a video? Yeah, we'll do it. We'll watch it. We'll post it later. If we can make it live, we'll do that. Hero, Texas food truck tour. Sounds good. I know. Yeah, Texas. Yeah, Texas, yeah we should do that. Uh, uh, yeah, I want to see Texas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Aaron says he watched the whole thing. Thank you so much for being here, Aaron. And to all of you that maybe I missed in the comment section. Yeah. Um, so we're going to keep this video on the YouTube. Yeah, we'll keep it on YouTube in so case anyone wants to see it. See yeah. I, most of the time I don't see it. I right, right. See, so Absolutely. I, I can see the comment too. Yeah, you can see the comments. Should be able, I hope so. Should be able to. So, but uh, that doesn't have any uh, others, right? I cannot reply, right? No, you cannot reply. In the comment section, you can, I believe. Oh, I see. But that's it. All right, everyone, have a wonderful night, a wonderful rest of the weekend. Thank you again for being here. And uh, good luck to everyone for these giveaways. If you want uh, something personal, uh, uh, comments or question, send uh, me uh, to the, um, the Chef Hiro Terada. Instagram. Yeah, right, right. Also, you can send me the uh, question. Okay. And uh, actually, some Japanese hero. I, I can't read that. <laughs> what? You see these? What does she know? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> that's not good. That's not good? That's not good. Okay, someone wrote something that's not so good. There's a question, what burner do we use? This is made by Sterno. <laughs> but this, is, this is a funny one. It's a funny one? Oh, yeah. Someone, uh, I right? I understand totally. He understand totally, okay. Yeah. So, BV, whatever, BV94, is that? BV94, yeah. BV, B94, he understand. Uh, this is a Sterno, uh, it's, this is a Sterno burner. I believe it's 14,000 BTU. If uh, we have a link in the Amazon store in some of the videos that you can see, that you can find this one that we use. But the highest BTU, the best. That way you can have the, the most fun. Because a lot of these sometimes are only 8,000 BTU. BTU re refers to uh, the power, how much output you have in the gas. And the higher, the more, the more hotter it gets. And of course, it's going to burn more at, at maximum. But you can definitely. It works so fast. When he's cooking something in a wok or frying something, it's super, super quick. Uh, BVB, ha ha. They said ha ha. <laughs> Say that again? Okay. Translate? Translate? <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Thanks again for being here. Love you all. Hero, say. Everybody, thank you for watching. And? Good afternoon. And? See you next time. And I love you all. I you okay. <laughs> Coming from a Japanese man, you know, he means it when he says it. <laughs> okay, guys. See you all soon. See you next time.